Let's stick at the state capitol for a second because we're pretty much at the end of the legislative session. And despite rallies and protests, it looks like the session will wrap up without any major gun reform. The group Voices for a Safer Tennessee came to the state house today, and with them we saw Katie Dickhouse, Evelyn Dickhouse's mom, mm. one of the covenant victims. That group is one of many pushing for gun reform. Senator Jeff Yarbrough tried to get a vote on a gun reform bill today. We've told you a little about his bill to require people to lock up guns in cars or boats. He added an amendment for a red flag law. He tried to force a vote and the senators in green, as you could see, they voted it down. Every time there's one of these shootings, these people's lives are changed forever, for years, for decades, forever. We should be able to stay in this building for another few days. Governor Bill Lees also pushed for an order of protection law, basically a red flag law. He sent out a six minute video trying to get lawmakers to pass something. And I'm not saying it's easy, but it is possible when we're talking about the safety of our children, our teachers, innocent lives. The only thing standing in our way is politics on both sides of the aisle. The House Republican Caucus says they won't do it. They say any red flag law is a non-starter and they want to find ways to stop people from hurting the public while preserving the Second Amendment. But they say they are willing to work with the governor on a law that fits that framework. Now, all in all, more than 75 gun bills have gone through the state legislature. Only a handful have passed. Many are deferred to the next legislative session, which will start next January.